Hey guys, I hope you're ready for three days of whole house speed cleaning motivation. This was on day one in the morning. I got the girls up and out of bed and what I wanted to do right away was wash their sheets. So I pretty much try my best to get something going right away every morning. Usually it's getting laundry started, making my bed, just so I know that something is done and taken care of and then I kind of go about my day. So um, on this day one, um, I got their sheets in the washer and then I went about my normal morning, normal lunch, and then it was time to clean up after lunch. I don't always clean up during lunchtime. A lot of the time I will just save it for later on after the girls go to bed, but I had a lot that I wanted to get done after the kids went to bed. So as you can see, our house was pretty messy. So I figured while the twins were in a good mood, Avery was going to help play with them and we got some things picked up in the kitchen and the living room and i even got to involve them in cleaning which was fun but also a little crazy So I'm going to be cleaning over three days. It took me three days to get the whole house clean, um, which I feel like is pretty standard. But, you know, I was able to get a lot of the cleaning done this afternoon um, while the twins were up, which was kind of nice. And it's kind of new for me. It's always a win when you can get some cleaning or something done with your twin two-year-olds. Um, definitely a mom win. But yes, I'm going to be cleaning over three days my whole house. I'm also going to be sharing with you a Costco grocery haul, so a lot jam-packed into today's video. And I also recently got a new Gro Grove collaborative order in, and I stacked up on some of my favorite Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser, which I was so excited to finally get. It's been out of stock, so I was able, finally able to stack up. And I also got some other cleaning products, so stay tuned because I will periodically be showing those in my upcoming videos. Another called off date, we never seem to get it right Another heart attack, words that we can't take back We are the reason opposites attract Once you slam the door on the second floor I regret it all When I think it through I can help the way I feel for you Make me lose my mind like all the time It still feels right Stuck in a net So I was using the Jaws granite cleaner on my countertops and then the Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray on the high chairs and the kitchen table. It is in the scent peony and I love it. I love the way it smells. 
You guys have also seen me use the Jaws multi-purpose spray, and I kind of go back and forth. I love both of them. Um, I think they're both great. I honestly kind of think that they're great, but they're good for different areas and cleaning different things. I feel like the Jaws multi-purpose spray is a really good on like my countertops. Like I can use it on my countertops and appliances. I don't find that I, I mean, I still use the Mrs. Myers on my countertops, but it does streak. Um, but the Jaws does not. It's better on countertops and appliances. And it also has a very light scent. Very, very light. To where the Mrs. Myers has a very strong scent. So sometimes you'll want a strong scent. Other times I don't. And I also feel like the Mrs. Myers, I like using better like on baseboards or wood um, or like cabinets and stuff. And I just think it does a little bit of a better job on those surfaces than the Jaws. Um, but honestly, I love both of them. So by this time, the twins were down for their nap and Avery and I were finishing up cleaning in the living room. And then we were going to be done for the afternoon, have a normal afternoon and evening, like dinner. And then later on, Mike was going to give the, the twins a bath. And Avery and I were going to go down and clean up the basement. So I, I just like to say that because I know it looks like all of this cleaning was just done, bam, 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 you know, like right in a row. But uh, this first day of cleaning was broken up a little bit in the morning, a little bit in the afternoon, and then a little bit later at night. But a question just to kind of chat with you guys i recently got in another video was someone was curious what colleges mike and i went to and what our degrees were in or are in so mike and i went to the same college for the most part um, but not initially so there's like, like couple stories involving that um and if you don't know our history mike and i met in sixth grade we went to middle school together high school together a very small school um, we've been dating since we were 15, um, never taken a break. We went off to college um, and he actually got recruited to play baseball, start out of high, high school um, at a college called Bluffton. I think it's Bluffton University. It, it's a D3 school, Division three college. So he went there to play baseball and I went to Bowling Green State University in Bowling Green, Ohio to get my education degree because at the time, I mean, I, I don't know if it still is, but it was known for their good education program. So the colleges um, were maybe like 30 minutes apart, so not too far apart, like we were happy with it. Even though we grew up together, went to the same high school, we were totally happy going to different colleges. It wasn't too far. Well, Mike went to Bluffton for a semester and he did not like it. I think that, like, I like to think that he missed me. I'm joking, but um, I like to think that he missed me, but I don't think he actually loved the college as much as he initially thought. Like I said, Bluffton is a division three school. Um, Bowling Green is a division one college, which if you're familiar with universities and colleges in the United States, we um, debate based on the population of the college, it's um, put into vision two divisions for sports. So like a division one is huge, like the biggest. Um, and I mean, you're talking a division three versus a division one, completely different colleges. They're set up differently. The classes are run differently, different size classes, different resources. And I think we all kind of pick a college based on like that, you know, what we prefer. Some of us like that smaller school atmosphere. Others like the big school atmosphere. Well, surprisingly, you would think that we would have picked a smaller college to go to because we went to a very small high school. We had 70 people in our graduating high school class, so super small. So you would have thought that we wanted that smaller college, but it was almost the exact opposite. Coming from a small high school, we wanted to go to a big college. And I'll talk more about this here in a minute. I just want to take a little bit of a break so you guys can watch me clean, hear some music. But there is a really, really crazy story, just a crazy story, something that ended up happening and why we're glad that Mike ended up transferring.
Okay, so I just wanted to give a little bit of a break because I know some of you like the mix of talking and music and I just don't want to chat your ear off here. But um, after I was done with the basement, I was going to move on to the bathroom that's off of our kitchen, the half bath, give that a really good cleaning. And then Mike and I were going to fold some laundry before I was done for the night. Okay, but going back to the story, the whole college situation. So Mike went to Bluffton for one semester and then he would come visit me um, at Bowling Green every weekend. And I think he just got a taste of the Division I big-time college atmosphere. He's a big sports guy. Um, like, we would go to the football games and the basketball games. And I think he just loved it so much that he ended up transferring to Bowling Green after one semester at Bluffton. So after the Christmas break, he came to Bowling Green. Um, we both lived on campus um, in dorms separately, obviously. Um, and to this day... It was the best decision and it wasn't even because of me um, he ended up transferring for multiple reasons but he ended up meeting his best friend it was a roommate um, in the dorm and he just got involved in so much um, he got a degree in finance business finance from Bowling Green and he just ended up loving the college so it was a good decision but um, I graduated in 2008 with a bachelor's in education and then I went on and get my master's. I was part of a program where I got accepted in getting my master's paid for through um, the school by working at the school. Um, I got my master's in curriculum and teaching so it was like a one-year accelerated master's program and I graduated from that in 2009. But going back and talking about that crazy story of my transferring, transferring which um, um, right now, I'm just using the Rubbermaid power scrubber to get around the faucet. I'm also going to break out some of the um, Grove Collaborative cleaning tools um, just to kind of like do a little bit of an extra deep clean here in this bathroom. Um, but I wanted to tell you about that crazy story. So Mike went to Bluffton College to play baseball. He was on their baseball team, um, but then he transferred. Well, our junior year, so this would have been um, two years after he transferred, we were at Bowling Green. Um, and it was on my birthday, March 2nd. And I'll never forget it because it was my birthday. I was sleeping at my apartment. I lived off campus and he showed up at my apartment to wake me up. And when I first saw him come in, uh, my roommate had let him in. I thought he was there because it was my birthday and he was trying to surprise me, but he really looked upset. And I was like, what happened? Well, the Bluffton baseball team that he originally was on was on a trip for spring break, spring break, like a baseball trip. Um, to Florida and I think it was around Atlanta Georgia they were on this big bus like one of the big buses that um, sports teams are on that carries the equipment the bus driver lost control and crashed and it like I said it was one of those big buses like overturned it made national news and seven baseball players were killed in that accident almost everybody was badly badly injured I think they cleared out one of like the the major hospitals in Atlanta, like one of the floors, they cleared out to bring in all these kids. And I just remember looking at pictures online and seeing Mike's roommate um, when he was at Bluffton. He was on the bus. He um, he was okay, but very badly burned and injured. He made so many good friends on that team in just that short time he was there, and they were all injured. Um, and it was so bad. And it just really affected Mike because if he would have stayed on that team, he would have been on that bus. And it just really shook him up for a while. Um, but anyways, I don't really want to end on a sad note. Um, but yes, he transferred, ended up loving his time at Bowling Green with me. And of course, I'm happy he made the switch as well. So this is day two and I had some plans. I had like, I was going to be motivated today. I was hoping to get a lot of stuff done during nap time. Um, so I was able to get a few things done in the morning more than I normally do. So I made the bed, wanted to clean up our bedroom. Mike was downstairs. It was before he got his work day started. He was sitting down with the girls for breakfast. So I had a little bit of extra time to get things done up here. 
Mike is still working from home, but it sounds like things are going to change somewhat, um, at least somewhat in the fall. We're not really sure what it's going to be. Um, so it'll be a little bit sad to have him go back to work because he's such a big help with the girls um, working from home. You know, it gives me more freedom to get a little bit done. Like here's an example um, of me getting stuff done in the morning while he's answering emails as the girls sit and eat. Or um, since he's home working, you know, during nap time, I can go run to the grocery store. I can run errands. I can go outside and work out. So um, it will just change things in my, the way I do things. I won't, I probably won't be as productive because um, I won't have the flexibility of having him there to get stuff done during nap time, you know, that type of thing. Um, but we're not sure if he's going to be able to work from home a couple days a week, if he'll be in the office full time. We're not really sure. But either way, it was nice while it lasted. Um, but yeah, so I was able to get a few things done here in the morning while the girls were downstairs eating and he was answering those emails. Um, and then I was going to get started um, during nap time to do the rest. I'm put up with changes. Don't pick me up cause I just wanna see the light I wanna be weightless Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by yeah. I just see your face So I was getting started in the laundry room because the girls had just went down for their nap and I wanted to get started in here before they fell asleep. Um, into a deep sleep since the laundry room like shares a wall with their bedroom um, and then this is Avery's bedroom she is going to be cleaning her bedroom up while I'm cleaning the rest of the upstairs she did not want to be on camera with when she was cleaning her room which I totally respect totally respect anytime um, that I put my kids well I don't really ask the twins um, but I always ask Avery if she wants to be on camera and if she does not want to be on camera I don't put her on camera I respect her and how she feels now normally she really does want to be on camera but today she did not want to be but when she was done cleaning her bedroom she requested hey can i show them my clean room so you can see the after um but it's just been kind of nice for me like avery six so like she helps clean up she helps me um and something that i've really found to help so if you guys have kids around her age something that i notice like helps when she um, when I need her to help me clean as I prepare her so like the day before this I said hey Avery we need to clean your room tomorrow or hey Avery tomorrow we need to clean the basement that type of stuff so like even the day before I prep her and then in the morning earlier this morning I said hey Avery remember we got to clean your room prepping her makes a world of a difference like if I spring it on her she does not want to do it if I prep her it's like she's totally good with it so there's a little tip um if you need if you have kids her age and you need them to help start prepping them and i think it really will make a difference I was totally not planning on cleaning the grout in here, but I had noticed this spot where there was a dog accident. Um, and so there was just one little part of the grout that was a little bit dirty, like it looked different. So I grabbed my Resolve foaming carpet cleaner, sprayed it on there, let it sit, scrubbed it a little bit, and then took care of, um, and that took care of that little spot on the grout.
And then I came back downstairs and I was running the Roomba in our living room and then the Norwal, the other robotic vacuum and mop in the kitchen while I was cleaning out the refrigerator and organizing some food, food from Costco, which I'm going to show you the Costco haul later, but I wanted to get like the refrigerator cleaned up and organized and sometimes I feel a little bit embarrassed because I know I have so many vacuums and I never want you guys to think think that I'm bragging about my vacuums um, that I have and I certainly also don't want you guys to ever think that you need all of these vacuums because you do not I just like trying new vacuums seeing what works um, you know everyone kind of has their own needs and wants and so I like um, showing that to you guys like different pros and cons to every vacuum like I know some people are like, I would never spend the money on a robotic vacuum or they're way too expensive. And then other people, it's totally worth it to save up the money for the robotic vacuum to save time so they can get other things done while the robot vacuum is vacuuming. And I think this is a, just a prime example of being able to have um, the vacuum going for me so I can get things done because there's no way I would have been able to vacuum the living room and the kitchen in addition to all of this that I needed to get done while the girls were napping. So it's so nice for me to have the robotic vacuums going. We also had to go to the regular grocery store this day, so that's why the refrigerator looks pretty bare, but I think that's like the perfect time to do some cleaning of the refrigerator when you're getting things done um, and before you go to the grocery store. So when you bring home the new food, everything is nice and clean and you have a place for it. And I was using the Aunt Fanny's Cleaning Vinegar Spray to wipe things down. I love this stuff. Love using vinegar in the refrigerator. It does such a good job. And for like the really sticky strawberry, um, jelly i used the big guns the dawn power wash and a hot wet um paper towel to kind of soak on and lift all of that jelly up you used to touch i used to dream we used to say you're the prettiest i've ever seen so long Please, please, please forgive me for all of the ums I say in this video. It is out of control. I edited some of them out, but my mind is so scattered this week. We have a funeral. We have all these activities, haircuts, um, just like a lot of extra stuff. So I think it proves my mind is a little scattered right now. So thank you for hanging on and not judging me for all of the ums. And thank you for sticking around through all of them. So just to let you guys know, I will be sharing that Costco haul with you guys later on. Um, and if you like seeing grocery hauls, Costco hauls, make sure you let me know in the comment section. But there's just nothing better than an organized and clean refrigerator. Um, and then there you see my Norwal going. I did a video on a, my Norwal a couple of weeks ago. They did send it to me, but it's a vacuum and mop and it has a self, it's, it's a self-cleaning mop. So I use it daily. I kind of use it as like maintaining my floors. So you're going to see me here mopping with my O Cedar Spin Mop. And I look at that as being more like more of like a deep clean. And then I use the Norwal to vacuum and mop daily. And like I said, um, the Norwal is self-cleaning, so it mops. Um, and then if it gets too dirty because the floor is dirty, it goes back to the base, base station to clean the pads, washes them, and then goes back up to finish the job. So I just like how it's not like pushing dirt around, if that makes sense. And I will admit it is pricey. Um, so, you know, it... it Oh, and here's Avery's nice and clean room. She was so proud of picking everything up and organizing things that she's like, hey, I want you to show this on camera. Show them my clean room or and how she cleaned it. So anyways, going back to the Norwal, I 100% agree. It is expensive. However, I think we all kind of have our own things that we're willing to spend money on or like save money up to make our lives a little bit easier, um, make us a little bit happier, if that makes sense. I, you know, I have a lot of friends who have cleaning ladies and they have people who come in and clean their home. I have other friends who are like, I'm not, pay I'm not paying someone to do something that I can do myself. Um, I have some friends who love the meal delivery kits. 
um, because they don't like to cook or they don't have time because their kids are involved in so many activities. I have other friends who are like, I'm not paying that money. I can cook myself. I can grocery shop myself. I don't need someone to deliver it to my front door or I have some friends who get their groceries delivered. Um, so I think we all kind of have our own things that we're willing to pay extra for to make our lives easier and um, like a little bit easier and less stressful. And something that I've talked about a million times with my Roomba is like, think about it like this. So like we got it, I think almost three years ago. And what we did, it was right before Christmas, Mike's birthday's around Christmas and then my birthday's in March. So what we did was for Christmas and our birthdays, we just said, we want gift cards um, to Amazon. And so from everybody in our lives who got us a gift, um, they got us Amazon gift cards. And then we put all of those gift cards towards the Roomba. So day three and I'm continuing on. Um, I have Avery here who's gonna help me clean up the bathroom. I'm gonna continue on in the bathroom and we're gonna tag team, right Avery? Mm -hmm. Oh yes, yeah, sorry, I kind of got cut off there because I was doing my intro to day three. Um, I kind of got long-winded talking about my robotic vacuums and meal delivery kits, but yes, this is day three and Avery and I were cleaning up her bathroom. Okay, so yes, now I will finish my thoughts from a minute ago. So is it expensive? Yes. We wanted something that would be good, that would last, and we put the gift cards t towards it. So we didn't really technically have to pay for it ourselves, but we still got what we wanted. So if like the Norwal is something that you're interested in, like that could be an option, like have someone give you like the, like, the Visa gift cards or something like that. Um, it, it is, you know, it's a vacuum and it's a mop and it's self cleans so it's pretty good. So just like a little tip that I know we all kind of have our own things and I mean, yeah, I could vacuum myself, but I'm one person at the same time. So anyways, I had those going while I was getting everything cleaned up in the fridge. So now I was just popping into the office and getting thing clean, things cleaned up in here. And I will say out of all of the rooms in the house, this is the one room that I allowed to get messy just because it, it's like that catch all room. And I've talked about this, like, like we have a friend's birthday party, kid's birthday party coming up. So I ordered the, the gifts, you know, early and I know it's like a temporary place. I just need to put them and I'll throw them in the office. And so like a lot of that, like, I just need to put something here for a week and then it will be taken care of. It's like that type of stuff. Um, and it's crazy to me because talking about Mike going back into the office full time, like we created this office and I think we finished it. Well, it was like in April of 2020, but we started it in late February of 2020. So it was, it was like a junk room before February of 2020. And then March, 2020, Mike, got sent to work from home he's in there we like when we had designed or had the idea for the room we had not planned on him being in there because he he was at the office every day um and then march 2020 he's in there so that's why we've used a card table because we're like we're not going to commit to a desk because it's a smaller room um, unless we know he's in there full time he was totally fine with that didn't want a desk um because then it's like if he goes back in the office full time then what do we do with that desk because it's such a small room so Anyways, it's like crazy to think like he could be back in the office in the fall full time. We'll get rid of that card table and just have a little bit more room in the office, which will be kind of nice. But we had created this office because with YouTube, it's like I sometimes I need a space to do my voiceovers or for it to be more quiet. Or again, it's just nice to have that place to keep like the stuff that you just need a temporary home with. I know you guys totally know what I mean, um, but I just like to make for sure it doesn't get out of hand. So I think that's the key to having a room like this. It's like going in periodically and cleaning things up so it doesn't become a true junk room.
but here i was finishing up doing like the quickest clean of the master bathroom like the basics i feel like i always say that i just do the basics in here and i think for some reason a lot of the times i will leave the master bathroom for last for whatever reason and then i'm just like i want to get it done so quickly that's probably why you guys don't see me clean the shower very often because i hate cleaning it i do it probably every other week sometimes every couple of weeks and it's just because at this point i'm running out of time can't do it all so very basic super speed cleaning um because we had softball later on and i had to get dinner started so stay tuned for the costco haul coming up Okay, so we were due for some laundry detergent. Um, I've been using the powdered Tide laundry detergent just because, you know, I use that to clean my floors. And so um, I just thought it would be easier and I think it was on sale last time I went. Um, but I do love the Kirkland liquid. So I just went back to it. I still like the powdered Tide, but just went back to the liquid. And then I picked these up. We've never had them. They're just, you know, frozen omelets, three cheese with cheddar, monterey, jack, and Parmesan cheese. And I thought these would be like a, just a quick, easy breakfast. Um, some OxyClean for all of those toddler stains. Um, this is what we use to clean our dishes in our dishwasher. We've tried the Kirkland brand, which did not work very well. We've tried like different brands, but it, the Cascade Platinum really is what tends to work for us. So I got those. Premier Protein. Um, Mike and I both drink these from time to time. I add it to my coffee if I want some extra protein or just something quick as I'm like running out the door if I don't have time to make a lunch. Peanut butter. We do a lot of peanut butter and jelly around here. These are kind of new, or at least I've never seen them before. They're the Tyson Savory Roasted Chicken Breast Chunks. I thought they were just like a different variation, um, something different than chicken nuggets for the girls, but also for Mike and I. Thought this would be i'm curious to see how these taste on salads i eat a lot of salads in the summertime and i've been actually craving salads lately but like what makes a salad to me is usually the dressing um and the meat and so i'm curious to try these i hope it's pretty good um and even showed like an apple with some walnuts that they are um, i'm like oh that kind of sounds pretty good so i will let you guys know what i think about these but i'm excited to try them um some olive oil some downy unstoppables i keep these or i use these for our bedding and sheets um dove body wash mike and i use this um in the shower we both do so we go through it pretty quickly and i like getting it from costco because it's way cheaper than buying these individually applesauce pouches fruit and vegetable pouches <laughs> we go through these like crazy um, I got these last time and Avery really, really liked them. You know, I'm always looking for ideas in the summer of healthier type snacks. Um, you know, like sometimes, especially at night, she'll want after having like fruit all day for a snack or cheese stick and she just wants something maybe a little sweeter. Um, and I think just being outside and playing more, she wants more snacks. So I picked these up. They are just fruit bars, um, but she really liked them. Actually, the twins liked them as well. We get these every time we go to Costco. The girls love these chicken sausages. They actually are pretty good. These are another staple here. All three girls love these, as do I. They're so good. Uh, this is the toothpaste we use. This was another kind of like somewhat healthier snack other than, you know, fruit. Just when Avery asks for a snack, um, we can have something like salty for her because we do a lot of grilling in the summer and honestly, the girls love these hot dogs and I like them because they're all beef. Um, so we go through a lot of hot dogs here in the summer. Um, last time we got these panko ones, the girls really, really liked them. Um, Costco has a couple of different variations of chicken nuggets, different protein source for the girls. These single pizzas or like little pizzas the girls really like them too so this is nice that if i just want to feed the girls something if mike and i are eating something i know the girls won't like um these are a good option because the twins can usually split one and then avery will eat one um but they're just like nice little 
pizzas. Um, mac and cheese, I got this for Avery. She loves Panera mac and cheese, so I got some of that from her. Like I said chicken nuggets, skinny popsicles, mainly because I've been feeding the girls, the twins, this, these at Avery's softball game. She's had a lot of softball games around dinner time, and I just sometimes were like rushing out of the door, and I need something quick and easy to grab, so we grab that. Or yogurt tubes, which it's so nice because the twins are finally at a point where they can handle these yogurt tubes. I mean, Addison kind of makes a little bit of a mess, but Emery's got it down. Um, so I picked these up. Some more chicken. For, Mike actually uses these, and this chicken is actually really good on salads as well. I've seen these in a long time at Costco, the Annie's Extra Cheddar Cheesy Smiles. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys like seeing these Costco hauls, let me know in the comment section. And as always, it means the world to me that you guys come back each and every week and you stay here to the end. I love you guys more than you've realized. So thank you for being here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.